They were far from happy with the circumstances. Portsmouth won it after they'd been awarded a very dubious penalty. It was 1-1 at Fratton Park, six minutes into the second half when Trevor Peake was penalised for pulling Paul Walsh back. Luton felt it happened outside the area. Peake, in fact, appeared to have two goals at Walsh. The first, definitely outside the box. The second, well judged for yourself. In the event, Peake was booked and Warren Aspinall scored the winner from the spot. Before that, in the first half, there had been two tremendous goals. The first from Philip Gray put Luton ahead. A great header from Scott Oates' corner. But that goal was cancelled out less than two minutes later by Guy Whittingham, English football's leading scorer with his 30 ticks goal of the season. Possibly the best of the lot. All the way from inside his own half, the Luton defenders left in his way. Portsmouth 2, Luton 1. David Priest heading his first of the season. But Oxford fought their way back into the match and it looked as though they might return home with a point when Nick Cusack equalised just before half-time. But two goals in the last 13 minutes ensured another important win for Luton. It's now four months since they were beaten at home in the league. Some of the credit for that goes to leading scorer Phil Gray. He made it 2-1 last night with his 17th of the season and a spectacular third goal from Scott Oakes condemned Oxford to their fourth consecutive league defeat. Final score, Luton 3, Oxford 1. It was decided in the last six minutes. Phil Gray shot his 20th goal of the season from a penalty after a drive by Kerry Dixon had been handled on the line by Julian Dix. That was in the 84th minute. And with two minutes to go, 19-year-old Martin Williams completed Luton's victory with his first ever league goal.